Despite its enduring popularity, Portugal remains one of Europe's best value vacation destinations. It has it all, a rich history, cutting-edge art, breathtaking scenery, and welcoming, laid-back residents. TAP Portugal, the country's primary airline, has increased its stopover program to five days, making it easier to visit. So, here is our list of the greatest places to visit in Portugal. 10. Viana do Castillo Viana do Castillo is located in the north of Portugal, directly adjacent to the Atlantic Ocean, in a magnificent location at the mouth of the Lima River. The little city is a popular destination along the Portuguese Way, with unique and outstanding historical and cultural landmarks. Numerous centuries-old churches and a beautiful Gothic-style cathedral may be seen strewn about town, as it has long been a popular pilgrimage destination. Fine palaces and manor buildings, as well as a few modest museums, may be found in the well-preserved medieval core. The majestic Basilica of San Luzia, which was designed after Sacré-Cœur in Paris, sits atop a prominent hilltop and overlooks everything. Vina do Castillo, in addition to its exquisite architecture and great monuments, offers breathtaking views of the surrounding area and is a good base for visiting the Lima Valley. Many visitors come to walk in the foothills or relax on the stunning beaches. Not Braga. Braga is one of the most beautiful cities in Portugal. The destination, which is located in the north of the country, has a long history as a religious and economic center. Wandering through Braga's old neighborhood is like entering a world of mostly 18th century homes, majestic churches, and beautiful palaces. The austere granite veneer that defines much of the architecture is broken up by a variety of spruce parks and gardens. Braga's cathedral, the sea, was built in the 11th century and serves as a visible reminder that the city is still the ecclesiastical capital of Portugal. The city central square is a lovely spot to spend some time, perhaps in one of the cafes tucked away behind the arcades. All that survives of Braga's original defenses is the adjacent 14th century Torre de Mensagem, the majestic religious sanctuary of Bom Jesus do Monte. Located 1.5 kilometers east of the city is a worthwhile trip. Bring a picnic and be prepared for heavy crowds on weekends. 8. Tomer Tomer, one of Portugal's most beautiful and scenic cities, is located in the country's central region surrounded by vast farmland. Its ancient alleys are home to notable historical, cultural, and religious monuments, as it was originally the headquarters of the Knights Templar. Beautiful structures with great architecture, including Gothic, Manoline, and Renaissance styles, may be found in the heart of the city. While there are numerous centuries-old churches, chapels, and castles, the Castle and Convent of the Order of Christ is the primary attraction. It was from this enormous and beautiful castle complex once a Templar stronghold, that Portugal's overseas expansion and age of discovery started. Surprisingly, it was also in Tomer that the Portuguese nation was founded. It was a hugely prominent city and settlement for centuries. This rich history, culture, and tradition can be found everywhere, and the town hosts several notable festivals and events each year. 7. Coimbra Coimbra's medieval hilltop university is only one of many reasons to visit this revered Portuguese city. However, the abundance of other visitor attractions, many of which are concentrated around the Valle Universidade, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, warrants a full day of visiting. The beautiful Biblioteca Joanna, a Baroque jewel of gilded and marbled wood and frescoed ceilings, is unquestionably the highlight of a visit to the old university site. Climb to the top of the 18th century clock tower for a breathtaking view of the entire neighborhood. The majestic late 12th century sea vela should be included in your exploration. There are more historic buildings to discover in the old town, including two former convents and the Igreja de Santa Cruz, which was consecrated in 1131 and holds the grave of Portugal's first monarch, Afonso Henriques, a botanical garden, as well as the fun-filled Portugal dos Pequenidos, a park with scale versions of the country's most renowned historic buildings, are located elsewhere. The river itself is a nice diversion, with a vast esplanade surrounding both banks, ideal for long strolls. 6. Aveiro Aveiro, which hugs the country's Atlantic coast in central Portugal, is known as Portugal's Venice for its attractive environment of stunning canals, connected by charming bridges and studded with colorful gondolas and speedboats. Historic sites, beautiful beaches, and delectable cuisine all contribute to Aveiro's appeal as a tourism destination. Walking about Aveiro is the most pleasurable method to see the city, but tour boats and a free-use bicycle system are also available. 
the Avero Cathedral, the Sogon Kalino Chapel, and the Conventum de Jesus are among the city's many tourist attractions. All of these places have beautiful architecture and artwork. The Forum of Vero is a retail mall with a variety of stores, restaurants, and a movie theater. Fresh seafood, meat, fruit, and handicrafts are all available at markets such as the Fish Market and the Central Market. Avero's shoreline, also known as the Silver Coast, is known for its clean, scenic beaches such as Costa Milva, Sub Jacinto, and Berra, which offer swimming, sailing, and kite surfing. 5. Avora Avora is a small town in southern Portugal's Alentejo Plains, yet it has a lot of tourist appeal. Avora was originally a thriving city under Roman authority, with a history stretching back over 2,000 years. Avora is the seat of the Alentejo region today and it is known for its well-preserved old town, which contains over 4,000 ancient monuments, including old Roman walls and temples. Avora's main attractions are all within walking distance of one another, making it easy to go around on foot. A horse carriage ride near the 13th century Cathedral of Avora, one of Portugal's most famous Gothic architecture, is a pleasurable way to sightsee Avora. The Jarabo Square with its Renaissance fountain, the University of Avora, an odd chapel painted with actual human bones, and the remnants of an ancient Roman temple are all must-see historic monuments. A walk along the city's old aqueduct will reveal a plethora of businesses, cafes, and houses tucked between the arches. Not far from the city is Europe's largest prehistoric megalithic complex, which is well worth seeing. 4. Porto The lively city of Porto sprawls along the hills above the Daua River in northern Portugal, Regarded for both its natural and architectural beauty, it is world famous for its production of exquisite port wine. Porto's public transportation system, which includes buses, metro, and cable railway, is well connected to other major cities. The Ribeira, a lovely pedestrian zone on the river with live music, cafes, restaurants, and street vendors, is located in the heart of Porto. The Pont Dom Luis, a metal, double deck arch bridge that connects Porto de Vila, Nova de Gaia which is noted for its port wine cellars, dominates this famous tourist destination. Beautiful old churches with intricate interiors, creative works, and gardens, such as the Church of St. Francis and Porto Cathedral, are among Porto's many architectural gems. The Cleric's Tower and palaces, such as the Stock Exchange Palace with its magnificent Arab chamber, are among notable sites. Apart from sightseeing, Porto has a lot of interesting things to see and do. Quality arts and culture are available at renowned museums and concert halls. Fresh fish, vegetables, fruits, and handicrafts are available at the Mercado do Bovo, a traditional market. Boat rides on the river and walks along the Foz's Garden Line Esplanade provide spectacular views of the city's natural splendor. 3. Madeira Madeira Island, known as the Floating Garden of the Atlantic, is a rich paradise in the Atlantic Ocean between Portugal and North Africa, known for its lush green landscapes, flower gardens, wines, and annual New Year celebrations that include one of the world's largest fireworks displays. Madeira Island is the largest island in the Madeira Archipelago, a Portuguese autonomous entity. It is one of Europe's most attractive tourism destinations. Tourists come from all over the world to see the island's natural beauty, year-round moderate climate and almost crime-free status. While tourists can get to Madeira via aircraft, cruise ship, and ferry, they can also take the bus or rent a car to navigate around the island. The main draw of Madeira is the abundance of lush parks, colorful gardens, enchanting forests and natural reserves, as well as steep mountains and petaled beaches lapped by blue ocean waves. The Orchid Garden and the Loura Silva Forest, which has the world's biggest concentration of laurel, are both must-sees. The Levadas, a magnificent system of canals and aqueducts that create walking trails that win through stunning scenery, are another must-see. Pebble beaches, crystal blue water, natural rock pools, and sports such as fishing, diving, sailing, and whale watching can all be found along the island's shoreline. Funchal, Madeira's capital and main city, is home to medieval churches, fortresses, tourist resorts, museums, restaurants, and markets, as well as the tree-lined Lido Promenade, which offers breathtaking views of the ocean. 2. Sintra With its vibrantly colored facades, bottle green gardens, and Disney-like crenellated castles, Sintra, perched in the foothills of the eponymous mountain range, 
is almost ludicrous at first glance. It's no surprise that children adore it and that many visitors visit on day trips from Lisbon, which is around 30 kilometers to the southeast. To take it all in, you'll need to stay overnight, and you won't regret spending 48 hours or perhaps more at a hotel. This is a place with all the magical attractions of Camelot or Westeros, from the lovely 19th century Pina Palace to the medieval castle of the Moors. It's no wonder then that Hans Christian Andersen once resided in a house in Sintra's woods. You may come across it on your way down from the palatial attractions. 1. Lisbon, Portugal's capital and largest city, which stretches along the banks of the Tagus River near the Atlantic Ocean, winds upward among seven steep hills, creating an enchanting destination of warm weather, alluring alleys, quaint shops, Gothic cathedrals, impressive bridges, and colorful neighborhoods reverberating in traditional Fado music. Lisbon, one of the world's oldest cities, is known for its various neighborhoods or barrows. Belém, one of Portugal's most popular districts, is known for its royal palaces, gardens, and ancient buildings and landmarks, such as the Geronimo's Monastery, which is one of the country's most visited destinations. Alfama, a former Moorish enclave known for its maze of cobblestone lanes, rustic architecture, St. George's Castle, and Fado cafes and pubs, is the city's oldest neighborhood. With museums, theaters, and concert halls, Chido is the cultural center of the city. Park das Naces is the most modern sector, with glass and steel structures, commercial establishments, and casinos, while Barro Alto is the entertainment district, with several bars, discos, and nightclubs. From pastelarias providing delectable pastries, to outdoor cafes and bars serving Portuguese tapas, beer, and wine to excellent restaurants serving worldwide cuisines. Dining in Lisbon is a treat in and of itself. Lisbon has a decent public transportation system, including buses and metro, but the most interesting way to see the city is on one of the antique trams, such as the well-known Tram 28, which winds through ancient areas, parks, and major monuments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see the rest of our videos. See you soon.